The high security, high tech environment of a nuclear facility is something few of us will ever enter. But that's exactly what virtual reality is enabling at the Devil's Porridge Museum in East Riggs. A new display complete with a VR headset allows visitors to explore the Chapel Cross nuclear site as it is today. From tritium plants to control rooms, the headset makes it possible to see what it was like inside for those who worked there. You never knew from one day to the next if uh, what was going to happen. Generally, if it was running well, it all was quiet, but we did have times when the reactors had to be um, reduced in power or shut down for maintenance. The virtual reality, I think, is a fantastic thing. Commissioned in 1959, Chapel Cross was initially built to produce plutonium for nuclear weapons. The facility eventually became a power station, generating enough electricity for a city of 150,000 people. The plant employed a thousand workers on shifts around the clock. Entire families worked at the facility, which became a uniting force in the community. Tony Turner started as an apprentice at Chapel Cross soon after it opened and worked there for 13 years. A most interesting place to work. You know, there was the technology of the future, basically, then. Each shift had their own uh, shift dance. There was uh, chess players, there was uh, football competitions. The facility was decommissioned in 2004. Three years later, cooling towers came down. A day etched into local memory as a prominent feature of the landscape disappeared. To this day, decommissioning work continues. For former employees, this virtual reality experience is a chance to revisit a workplace central to this community. For others, it's a unique chance to experience the inside of a power plant that one day won't exist at all. Well, this is the booth that visitors will sit at to experience the virtual reality using, of course, this headset. And there's also plenty of information about what it is that you're actually looking at. Now, the idea was to give visitors a real feeling of what it was like to be inside Chapel Cross. And the whole thing was the brainchild of the collections manager here at Devil's Porridge Museum, Sarah Harper, who's joining me now. So Sarah, why did you want to make this exhibit? Well, we were given generous funding from the Magnox Socioeconomic Fund, Magnox who run Chapel Cross, um, and they give us the opportunity to be able to interview local people and ex-Chapel Cross employees. So I thought, why not get film inside Chapel Cross to allow them to see where they used to work once again and to show their family members where they used to work using virtual reality. And how does it work when you're filming? I mean, first of all, Pretty unique experience being able to film yeah. inside there, but how do you yeah. film something so that it can be virtual reality? Well, um, Brampton based company VR Impact, they actually came along to the site with us and you set up a tripod and it films the room and then you move and it films another room. So we spent about a day at Chapel Cross going around all the different places. How significant is Chapel Cross to this area? Oh, massively significant. It had such an impact throughout. Across Britain in the Cold War, it played a big part. This was the first nuclear power station in Scotland um, and produced electricity up until 2004. Um, there were schools built and houses built and there was so much employment in this area. It had such a massive impact on Annan. Well, the virtual reality experience is now a permanent part of the display here at Devil's Porridge Museum. And it's bound to attract a lot of local interest, but also interest from further afield as well.